My name is Dr. Jordan McKinney and uh, this guy here has a couple of ingrown toenails, two of them on his front paws. Um, normally cats groom uh, sufficiently to prevent that from happening and they do that by you know, clawing on, on the back of your couch or their, their tree. Um, and so I'm not sure entirely why this guy only has these nails affected. Certainly there are some metabolic conditions that can contribute to that. Um, pain uh, related to arthritis and changing gait might contribute to that. There are a number of other causes, but regardless, we are going to take care of it. Right now we have some methadone on board so that he is hopefully a little more comfortable. Um, he's also a really good cat. So while we plan to do this with just methadone, there are many cats who would require heavier sedation. Um, we are soaking his paws in a dilute chlorhexidine solution. We very shortly are going to take him out, dry his little paws off, put some viscous lidocaine on, and then we will see if we can get a pair of nail trimmers around the thick nails, which we'll show you. And this is, okay. this is a little bit warm, that uh, chlorhexidine solution. Okay. Oh honey, you're already bleeding oh, here. Oh no, that's from my blood draw. Oh, okay. Yeah, that okay, was me. Good. All right, okay, so here is our first culprit. It is on his left front leg, and it is the second digit, you can see there, and the claw is big and thick, and it is in going into the digital paw pad. So this is the lidocaine. I am just going to put a little squirt of this here, and then, Sometimes. Yeah, I didn't grab any cotton to that so. Yeah, just put a, put a little around there. Do you want hemostats? A second. I might want hemostats. But let's give this a whirl. So, when you do this, you don't want to go super slow. Faster is more beneficial. So, that went very well. We're going to take that off a little bit more so that hopefully we put him back in good position to groom. You can see the rest of his nails are actually fine, you know, really appropriate. Not this like onion nail as we sometimes like to call it. Okay, I'm going to clean this up and I am going to clip it a little bit. <laughs> So, yeah, he's being, he's being a really good boy. All right. So, this tissue doesn't look too terribly unhealthy. I mean, clearly there is a defect in the paw pad and we've got some, uh, some older granulation tissue at the top there and some younger tissue down here. Um, but, but, you know, it's clear that it didn't just happen, which we know. So, um, you know, if, if the owner is up for some management of this, maybe with some chlorhexidine on a regular basis, um, potentially a topical and an e-collar, of course. I personally would prefer not to put this cat on systemic antibiotics um, in the sense of really good antibiotic stewardship. Um, if she's not willing to potentially recheck if there's a complication, then we may consider a different option.